So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us discuss about radical equation. What is a radical equation? It is equation that contains radical terms with variables in the radical. So what could be a not radical equation? Not radical equation that is x squared plus the square root of 5 equals 3. Another example that is 0 is equal to x to the 4th plus the square root of 3. This is not a radical equation because a radical equation, equation that contains radical terms with variables in the radical. So as you can see, this radical has no variables in the radical. So it means this is not a radical equation. So example of radical equation that is the square root of 2x minus 1 equals 5. Another example that is the cube root of 2 minus 3x is equal to 4x. So this is a radical equation because uh, equation that contains radical terms with variables, this is the variables in the radical. How to solve radical equation? For solving radical equation, we must use the property of equality. So the property of equality, it, it is needed. If that is x is equal to y, if x is equal to y, so it means then x to the n is equal to y to the n. In example number 1, square root of 2x minus 3 minus 5 is equal to 0. So first, we need to put negative 5 going to the right side. So that becomes the square root of 2x minus 3 is equal to Afterwards, let us square both sides. The purpose is to solve for x. So let us square both sides. If we square both sides, cancel 2 and then the radical sign. So this one, that becomes 2x minus 3. While 5 squared, that is 5 times 5, the answer is equal to 25. Bring down 2x and then 25, negative 3 going to the right side. So 25 plus 3, the answer is 28. So if we divide both sides with positive 2, the answer is equal to 40. So let us see if this is the solution set that is equal to 40. So let us check. Square root of 2x minus 3 minus 5 is equal to 0. Let us replace it with 14. So square root of 2 times 14 minus 3 copy negative 5 equals 0. 2 times 14, the answer is 28. So, square root of 28, copy negative 3, copy negative 5 equals 0. Square root of 28, that is square root of 28 minus 3, that is a square root of 25. And then copy negative 5, copy equal 0. Square root of 25 is exactly equal to 5. And then copy negative 5 equals 0. 5 minus 5, let us subtract. So, 0 equals 0. So, that is equal. Equal yung left and right. So, it means x equals 14 is the solution set. In example number 2, square root of 2x minus 4 minus x equals negative 2. So, first we need to copy square root of 2x minus 4. Negative x going to the right side, that becomes positive x because that is addition property of equality. Bring down negative 2. To solve for x, let us square both sides. After squaring both sides, cancel 2 and then the radical sign, that becomes 2x minus 4. x minus 2 square, we need to distribute, that becomes x minus 2 times x minus 2 or x times x, that is equal to x squared, and then x times negative 2, negative 2x times 2, that is negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 2, the answer is equal to positive 4. So let us combine like terms. So pwedeng x squared going to the left side or yung x squared retain. So kung mag retain yung x squared natin on the right side, yung left side natin ay magiging 0. So copy x squared. And then, copy negative 4x. But then, meron 2x dito. So, kung meron 2x dito, going to the right side, that becomes negative 2x. 
Negative 4 and negative 2, that is negative 6x. Bring down positive 4, negative 4, going to the right side, that becomes positive 4. So 4 plus 4, the answer is equal to 8. Think of factor, if we multiply positive 8, if we add, that is negative 6. So that is negative 4 and negative 2. So let us check. Negative 4 times negative 2, that is positive 8. If we add negative 4 minus 2, the answer is negative 6. So the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 8 are x minus 4 times x minus 2. To solve for the value of x, 0 is equal to x minus 4. It is also equal with x minus 4 equal 0. So let us solve for the value of x. So x, change the sign for negative 4, that becomes positive 4. So x is equal to 4. Another 0 is equal to x minus 2. And then x minus 2, that is also equal to 0. So it means the value of x, that is equal to positive 2. Negative 2 going to the right side, that is positive 2. Let us see which is the solution set, 4 or 2 or both 4 and positive 2. So let us check if the answer is 4 and 2 or only 4 or only 2. If the given is square root of 2x minus 4 minus x equals negative 2, let us replace it with positive 4. So square root of 2 times 4, copy negative 4. Replace x by 4, so minus 4 equals negative 2. Square root of 2 times 4, the answer is equal to 8. Copy negative 4, minus 4 equals negative 2. Square root of 8 minus 4, that is the square root of 4. And then copy, copy negative 2. Square root of 4 is exactly positive 2. Copy negative 4, copy negative 2. 2 minus 4 subtract, so that is negative 2 equals negative 2. So x is equal to 4 is the solution set because equal yung negative 2 to the right side, that is negative 2. So let us see if x is one of the solution. So let us replace x by 2. So square root of 2 times 2, copy negative 4, replace x by 2, and then equals negative 2. 2 times 2, the answer is equal to 4, copy negative 4, copy negative 2, copy negative 2. Square root of 4 minus 4, that is equal to the square root of 0, copy negative 2, copy negative 2. Square root of 0 is 0, minus 2, copy, copy, negative 2. 0 minus 2, subtract, the answer is negative 2, equals negative 2. So, equal din siya, so it means 4 and 2 are the solution set. In example number 3, square root of 5x squared minus 16 is equal to x. Let us square both sides. So, cancel 2 and then the radical sign, that becomes 5x squared minus 16 equals x squared. Afterwards, 5x squared and then x squared, we need to combine. 5x squared and then minus x squared, the answer is 4x squared, copy negative 16 equals 0. Negative 16, going to the right side, that becomes 4x squared is equal to 16. So, afterwards, to solve for x, let us divide both sides with positive 4. So, if we divide both sides with positive 4, that becomes x squared. And then, 16 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 4. Using the square root of property, let us square both sides. So, if we square both sides, the answer is x is equal to positive negative 2. The square root of 4 is exactly positive and negative Let us see which is the solution, if that is 2 or negative 2. So let us check. Let us replace x by 2. So square root of 5 times 2 square minus 16 is equal to the value of x that is equal to 2. 2 times 2, the answer is equal to 4 times 5. So that is 20 copy negative 16 equals positive 2. Square root of 20 minus 16, the answer is equal to the square root of 4 equals 2. And the square root of 4 that is exactly positive 2. So positive 2 equals 2. 
So, equal siya, it means 2 is 1 of the solution. How about negative 2? Let us replace x by negative 2 to the given equation. So, that becomes square root of 5 times negative 2 square minus 16 is equal to negative 2 as the value of x. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4, times 5, that is square root of 20, copy, copy, negative 2. Square root of 20 minus 16, the answer is equal to the square root of 4. Square root of 4 equals negative 2. And the square root of 4 is exactly positive 2. It is not equal by negative 2. It means the only solution is positive So let us apply what you have learned. Solve each of the following equation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning! Mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!